Hi, we're back with an unboxing video and it's the turn of the Maidstone Mystery Box and it's the August 2023 Doctor Who Gallifrey Mystery Box. It's a 24.99 box packed with assorted licensed Doctor Who merchandise. There's usually a t-shirt and then a completely random mix of anything from audio novels, novels, toys and pretty much everything in between. Um, as I said, this is the August 2023 box. Um, it's quite a light box this time, so I'm um, not really got... I've got mixed feelings on whether this is going to be any good or not compared to their usual boxes. And they've usually been quite hefty, and it's not rattling a lot either, so I don't really know what's going to be inside. Um, as always, we'll rate everything that's in the box anyway to see if it's any good. If it's Whatever we find is any good, we'll rate it a hit. If it's not so good, we'll rate it a miss, and you'll see the scores build up as we go along. So without wasting any more time, let's see what we've got this time. Um, first up, um, little box. Um, oh, I take it all back what I've said about the box. Um, I've had one of these in the, earlier. Um, see Mr. Men Doctor Who figures. And it's uh, Doctor Fourth, um, obviously Tom Baker. Tom Baker, my all-time favourite Doctor, so yeah, this is fantastic. Um, I can't go wrong with that one, so that's an undeserved hit to get things going. Um, yeah, I do like these. I've got one. I've got a couple of the books. I've they've done the some of the plushes in earlier boxes. We've had the thirteenth, um, had the eleventh as items as well um they've obviously they've done the uh first doctor as one of these so yeah this is great i absolutely love that so yeah off to a great start so first hit um next um feels like one of the pin badges i'm gonna have to put this one up on the screen and you'll see it's just there um, it's following on from the Hero Collector range of badges that we've had over the last few months, and it's the Slovene. As characters, to be frank, I'm not particularly a big fan of the Slo Slovene. <laughs> Trying to get the words out there. Um, but as a badge, yeah, it's a nice little badge. It's a cutesy look, um, and to be honest, the Slovene aren't really the most menacing of creatures anyway, we've seen in Doctor Who. But nice badge, um, nice one to add to the collection. I'm a huge pin badge fan anyway, so that's going to be another hit. So despite the weight of the box, it's actually not doing too badly. Um, next up, feels like another one of the figures. Um, yeah, um, Eagle Moss. Um, uh, you see that too well. Um, if I can get that. Um, the Dalek Sec, the hybrid. Um, yeah, absolutely love these. Um, uh, I've built up quite a huge collection of these now from the uh, mystery boxes. Um, I mean, as I say, I've got the green screen behind me so you can't actually see, but I've actually got loads of these figures now. Um, but yeah, they're great. Um, really nice to have on display. Um, I mean, I've got literally a shelf covered in these now. Um, but yeah, fantastic little figures, um, nicely detailed, quite well painted, um, but yeah, great collectible, so another hit. Box is actually doing quite well now, um, I mean you've got um, quite a mix representing most of the different Doctors. Um, next one feels like a figure. Um, coming back to the previous one, and it's a uh, Dalek. Can't go wrong with the Daleks for anything. Um, so, yep, nice little figure there. Um, so, really, yeah, it's a Dalek, what do you say? Um, but, yeah, nice little item there, so another hit. No, over, doesn't seem to be any overall theme with what's in there. Um, oh, that's actually one of the classics that's at the bottom there. Genesis of the Daleks, you can see just down there. But, yeah, can't go wrong there, so, yeah, so four out of four. They're all quite light items to be honest, um, so it's kind of didn't, yeah, it was quite misleading in terms of what the actual box had. Um, that's two, thing, two things left a t shirt, 
Um, again, I'm going to have to put this one up on screen because there's a lot of green on it. Um, it looks like going back to their classic t-shirt design, the classic episode designs. So I'm just going to take this one out and have a look so I can see properly. No, it's actually a, another Jodie Whittaker design. Um, the woman who fell to earth. So obviously this is going to be on, on screen in front, in front of you now. So from her first episode, but really like that one. Um, it's nice to actually get some more more recent stuff as well. So yep, yeah, really like that. I mean, I've been a big fan of Jodie Whittaker's Doctor anyway. So yeah, really nice t-shirt. So nice, simple design, um, but yeah, do like that t-shirt, so I'm not going to hold it up because the centre of the t-shirt will disappear, so unfortunately, but yeah, do like that, so really nice shirt. So again, another hit. One last thing in here that we see, and this has actually got me curious, um, it's in an envelope. Now, I've not seen them put anything in a cardboard envelope before, so I'm not sure. So let's take a look. So it looks like the first day cover stamps from And David Tennant made his debut as the Doctor. And it's been postmarked as well. Um, it's supposed to be a limited edition of 2,500 of these that were done. So it's dated 20th of November 2006. Uh, you can see on the postmark there. There's actually a proper actual first first class stamp on there, been stamped um, as an envelope to actually use, these are officially sort of limited stamps. That's a quite different thing actually, um, not seen anything like that before. Um, definitely un unusual, um, not something I would have expected. Uh, obviously I mean, these have been sitting around for, for Obviously, about 15, 15 years or so in a warehouse. Um, but yeah, something different. Um, not necessarily my sort of cup of tea as a collector, but it's for something like that as a, as a limited edition collector's piece. Yeah, I'm still going to give that a hit. It's different. Not the biggest sort of. I, mean, I saw the card envelope. I know they do do it in autographs as well. I actually thought it might have actually been a, an A5 photo with an autograph on it, to be honest. So, in a sense, seeing it presented that way, I was kind of slightly disappointed. But, yeah, it's still a nice little piece. Not something I'm probably going to get overexcited about myself. But, yeah, still going to get a hit. Um, overall, um, nice box. Uh, the Mr. and figure and the T-shirt are probably the personal highlights for me. I do love the little or Eagle Moss figure as well. So yeah, still a good box. Uh, not their greatest, I'd say, but yeah, still worth getting. And um, if you do want to get one of your own, as always, the address for the Amazing Mystery Box is just below. Um, they've got their subscription boxes and they do plenty of one-off taster boxes as well. So if you're not sure about taking out a full subscription yourself, you can just pop on, pick up a one-off 24.99 box, or take a chance on their bigger TARDIS box, which is 49.99, and they do include autographs in that as well. I picked up, they've got a couple of stores around the UK. I went into one of their stores not long ago and picked up a Tom Baker autograph. So you can get some really nice stuff in them. Um, anyway, I'd love to know what you think of the, this box in the comments below. Um, uh, whether you'd like to, if there's a good, you've got a favourite item out of any of this lot. Um, anyway, um, that's it for this video. Um, drop us a like. Um, uh, if you're not already doing so, please take the time to subscribe. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again soon. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the like button and leave us a comment below. Also, spare a moment to share this video on Twitter, Facebook and all your social media pages. To get updates on all of our latest videos delivered straight to your inbox, subscribe now using the link on the screen.